What's up, everybody? It's your favorite boss that almost made me kill my brother's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Storm Collectibles M. Bison release. This is on loan to me once again from Pinkerton and Crash Box Customs, part of the podcast Enter the Realm, available on Podbean, iTunes, YouTube, etc. Part of the Cool Table Network and the man behind Crash Box Customs. But, but, what was I doing? <laughs> anyway, this guy has a ton of accessories. Let's get into them. He comes with a lot of hands, but they're all very similar. So they, they're the two kind of hands out that are powered. We'll take a look at those in a second, or at least towards the end of the video, if nothing else. There's two without the power. And then there's two posing, you know, relaxed hands, and then two different posing relaxed hands slash, you know, uh, attack hands slash, like, you know, posing to get ready for the fight hand. So all of those are cool. He comes with two of these, like, effects to put in his hand which are really well done. They're like a translucent plastic, but they go from a light pink to a dark purple, and then maybe some of the best sort of gradient translucent I've ever seen, and it picks up light beautifully. These are really well done. And then he also comes with the kind of punching effect that will uh, go over his fist, and we'll see this at some point in the review also, from a dark purple, once again, to a light purple. This doesn't look quite as great as this under the lights, but it, it's, it's fine. It's, you know, it'll, do, it'll do its job. He comes with two extra faces as opposed to the one that we saw in the opening footage, which is kind of like the, the menacing grin. We have the more kind of stoic straight face, which is always nice to have, and then a super kind of over-the-top emoting laugh, which is, you know, I, I like I like when the faces are, for the most part, give you a, a wide range, and this does accomplish that. He comes with a couple swap-out pieces. This is a different sort of, uh, you know, waist, you know, cape bit, and this one is painted significantly better so if if this were mine this would be the one that i would use uh, but you know personal preference and swap out arms for the arms cross gimmick which is awesome it's not perfect i'm going to tell you why but it will more than do so they are designed to plug in the ball pegs where the uh, current arms are and then these two pieces lock together to have that look, which is cool and it's thoughtful. There's one thing I want to point out, and we're going to talk briefly about it, and, and we're not going to waste too much time on it because I'm going to take them at their word. I have no reason not to. So when you take this bit of business off here, if you look at the ball peg here, like the socket, it's cracked. Now, I've seen Scuttlebutt online of people saying that theirs is damaged. Now, I also heard that the, the designer said it's in there to create tension relief. I am going to take him at his word because it seems to be on everyone's, it seems to be on both. I haven't seen it cause any problems on this. You know, it's just there. So I have no reason to doubt them and I'm going to take them at their word that is just you know, it's a it's a thing to better help uh, the toy not have any issues when you're swapping out the pegs. Th these toys tend to have tolerance issues. These storm collectibles, one of them, in, you know, one joint in particular, which we will talk about here, has it as well. So if this guy is saying, "Look, it's just it's just something that we discovered helps with swapping the arms in and out," then I am going to say, "Cool." and definitely uh, give them a pass on that. Now, I am having some troubles getting this all lined up, but let's see if we can't make it happen. You know, not too bad. I'll get the point. I'll get it at some point. Maybe final thoughts. And lastly, he comes with the display base with the Street Fighter V logo on it and the armature that goes up and down and has the spring-loaded clamps. So, like we've seen before, very well done. So let's talk about the figure. So the head, I want to take it, double ball peg, I can tell. The hat is on a square peg, um, but that makes it fit right, so I'm good with that. Has a black wash, has a black wash throughout on the red, which gives it, it's a subtle wash, so it only gets into the real nooks and crannies, so to speak. Um, it's kind of like a paint by numbers approach to shading, but I'm good with it, it looks fine. The black trim that's done, we'll just talk about that because there's not much paint. There's like a lot of paint on this guy, but it's it's simple and I don't have to, you know, repeat myself a thousand times. The, there's a black paint applied to the trim of his suit. It is sloppy as all outdoors. 
it's not on the lines here, it's not on the lines here, it's not on the lines here and here, nor here and here, nor the whole upper part of this section. The back is pretty good, gets outside the lines there, so it's not the greatest. Now, on a shelf, you'll never notice, it'll be fine, but under these lights, looking at it critically, it's a, it's a problem. Then the armor plates are all done with a gray plastic and then dry brush with a light silver looks great all of that looks great and then it has a glossy plastic for the shoes that looks great as well beautiful for the head the eyes are painted and the sculpt is great i think anyway and the gray hair is sculpted and painted looks good the teeth are sculpted and painted and look good all of that looks good no complaints now i don't maybe the neck is yeah it is so the neck is on a maybe the neck might be on a double ball peg also this hat keeps wanting to come off on me, um, which is cool. So articulation wise, you get down to there, breaks up the skull a little bit, but you can get it up to there, swivel back and forth, confused dog look, etc. Gold emblem painted there on the uh, crest on his hat. Now for the shoulders, we've already talked about one thing with the shoulders. We're going to talk about the rest. It does have a great butterfly joint, but you can go too far and break up the sculpt. But without going too far, you can get great range forward and back so that's beautiful the shoulders are on disc hinges you can get up to a i don't want to push it too far you can get up to about there it popped it out all right well at least it didn't fail do you know what i mean bicep swivel double jointed elbow get you 90 degrees wrist swivel on a ball hinge at both ends so you should be able to get up down and in out but it is limited due to the gauntlet but what are you going to do for the chest, double ball peg, it, it might be a single. That might be a single from the abdomen into the chest, and then another single from the abdomen into the pelvis. And I, I, I feel like there's a line up, and it might just be how tight this joint is. Like, if you look at the, it's just hard to get this figure squared up. There, there's one. I don't know. It doesn't sit naturally to me. Like the the thighs, like it's like it's like he's meant to kind of like be kind of leaning into his rear hip, you know, which is fine. But like, I want the option, and that's a tight little tolerance, which is my main complaint with Storm Collectibles is the tolerance of joints. It's just not a a, a great tolerance there. Um, tolerance here in the arm all feels good, so no problems there. The legs are on T jointed ball joints. With the soft goods, even, I mean, the soft goods, the softer plastic, you still get out to a great range. Forward is no problem. Let's check this one. You know, it's no problem, but it doesn't feel great. And back, thigh swivel around the ball peg, so that's good. Double jointed knee. Let's see. Gets you a great range. Breaks it up a good bit, but I think it's worth it. And then for the foot, it's a ball peg on a hinge so it's kind of like what's on a marvel legends head but uh, upside down so it gets you a great ankle tilt actually up to there down to there and then you get the, the a good bit of the rocker too and a toe hinge so i don't have any complaints with that that's 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 cool in the gang to me there's the back of the figure there he is next to his sub-zero since i don't have any of the mortal Kombat figures and let me say this somebody brought up a good point because i always say i think they scale fine there and somebody i think it was aaron said that uh you know they're obviously bigger though why do you keep saying they scale fine let me let me let me explain what i mean that he, he raises a good point and I, I don't think i've ever explained it and i should to me mortal Kombat is a more true natural looking human representation and the 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 street fighter stuff is a more exaggerated bigger than life sort of representation of the the human anatomy so therefore if i were to have them together i would want my street fighter figures to be bigger because they're more animated and exaggerated and stylized and and that's what i mean by they they look good together that, that's how i see them anyway and if, if you want them to be like like look like they all stepped out of the same world i don't think that's ever going to happen just because of the the aesthetic of the characters but if you did want that then yeah the size definitely won't work for you but i think it's a great size and on the other hand you could always say you know if you had these two i mean they're obviously at least in style look like they're made by the same company you put them on two different shelves i don't think you'll notice the height difference and it'll look like kind of one cohesive set so i get the allure of that for sure final thoughts wise i pretty much have two complaints one the black paint is not applied great 
period. It's not done well. It looks like it was done in a rush and haphazardly. It's not good. And I'm talking about to the trim of the coat. The stuff on the belt is kind of fine, on the hat and the shoes, all that, that's fine. Just the trim of the coat is is pretty wild. It's like Mr. Toad's wild ride. And my other complaint is the consistent complaint that I have with Storm Collectibles, and that is joint tolerances. To be fair, though, there's only one joint on this one. So to me, that means improvement. Plenty of positives, though. I told you I would get that thing sorted out with those arms. Just had to move them up a taste. The sculpt is great. The materials feel good. Once again, there is paint pretty much head to toe, including dry brushes and washes and glossy paints and flat paints and metallic paints, like on the belt buckle and stuff. So they, they, they really try. Like, I really think they're giving it what they got. I, I, I just think that the one thing they really need to lock down are those joint tolerances and this 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 black paint is inexcusable, like especially for them. They've done a really great job painting their figures thus far. That that seems like something they got to get a hold of. And I'm sure that's the individual results will vary. You could very well get a good one, but that this one is this one's in rough shape. The presence is definitely there. The sculpt is there. Articulation is there, and the price is appropriate. So yeah, it's a recommend for me. Just be weary of of the you know the black paint on the on the coat. Be mindful of this joint. There's something there's something funky with it. And otherwise, I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. So I used to play Street Fighter 2 a good bit, as most people did, I think, of my generation. I was born in 1980, so it was kind of perfect timing for me. And I used to play it on the Super Nintendo, and I, M. Bison was dumb hard, just ridiculous. And I remember getting to him and fighting him over and over again and losing over and over again and somehow finding a way to blame my brother. Like, did you ever do that? Where you're, like, finding an excuse to blame your sibling for why you lost because you just couldn't do it. So I'd be like, if you aren't breathing, and then I'd like punch him and like, over and over again, I'd find some. You can't eat cereal in here. Not while I'm playing in bison. Oh, now you're going to draw while I'm playing in bison? I can't have you scratching your head while I'm playing in bison. Things older brothers do to their younger brothers. It's really, it's, it's really, it's not fair a lot of times.